Hey everybody, this is Chad from Stick's Blog. I'm Stick, and today uh, I'm out here just uh, Big Hill Pond again. I come here pretty often for day hikes, stuff like that. Um, and today I just kind of wanted to do a, kind of a collaboration of a couple of different uh, gear reviews on a couple of new pieces of gear uh, that I can have, or that I have. Um, first off, probably one that's really noticeable is what I'm wearing around my face, and this is the Sea to Summit Bug Net. Um, I bought this a little while back, and uh, this is actually the first time I got to use it. Um, it's uh, a little after 8 o'clock this morning, and my main reason that I'm wearing this thing this morning is because I absolutely hate running through things like that behind me. Selling spider webs. Of course, they're not that bad on the trail, but uh, there is a lot of them as I'm walking down the trail, just down through the trail there. So, uh, this morning, uh, instead of just keeping it in my pocket, I thought, well, you know, I'm going to just go ahead and put that on and see how it does. So, so far, I'm doing pretty good with it. I've only been hiking about 20 minutes with it. Um, I can tell it's a little bit warmer up underneath it, uh, not in anything that's, uh, you know, just too bad. And it's really, you know, it's a little worse whenever I'm standing still like I am now. Uh, whenever I'm walking, there is a little bit of a breeze that actually comes through it, so it's not quite that bad. But uh, my biggest reason, like I said, I'm wearing it for spider webs this morning. I'm not too worried about the mosquitoes in the morning. They're more of an afternoon uh, slash evening type of thing. Um, but another reason I'm wearing it, too, is because of ticks. We have a lot of ticks here in the southeast, and uh, it seems like when I come in this uh, park, I really get a lot. So I figured I'd throw this on, and maybe it'll keep some of the ticks uh, off my head anyway. Uh, it's really hard to check your your own head for ticks um, but anyway uh, like I say I want to do just a collaboration of uh, some uh, gear reviews so uh, what I'm doing is I'm making my way on down the trail um, there's a little spot I believe it's called Rocky Knob I'm gonna get to hopefully in about 30 minutes and uh, once I get there I'm going to set up my hammock and some of you may have uh, remembered I did a uh, video on the uh, Grand Trunk Ultra Light Hammock. Uh, since I did that video, I ordered some whoopee slings, some adjustable ridge lines. I ordered a, a I ordered a, a ridge line for my tarp. I'm trying out a different uh, different way to do my tarp. But anyway, I did that, and then I've also got a bug sock that I made. Um, so, but I'll get to all that later. I just kind of wanted to give you a heads up, let you know what's going on. So, once I get to camp, get everything set up, I'll see you then. As you, like I said earlier, some of you may remember, uh, I recently did a little write-up on the Grand Trunk Ultralight Hammock. Uh, and that's what I've got here today. And first, I want to talk about the new suspension that I got. Um, I got it from whoopieslings.com. Uh, basically, what I ordered as far as the hammock is concerned is I ordered um, two six foot long whoopee slings, uh, two six foot long uh, webbing tree straps, uh, two toggles, and an adjustable ridge line. Uh, I bought that for my tarp, so I want to go ahead and real quick kind of show you, uh, go over some of the stuff about that. Um, now everything fits inside of this stuff sack, which is the pocket that is on the hammock. I don't have to uh, I don't know if you remember in the other video, I had the hammock in one stuff sack and I had the suspension set and another stuff sack because the suspension was so bulky and that's part of what I wanted to get rid of uh, with some of the bulk. Uh, so the new, uh, the new suspension system, everything fits inside here. So hang on just a second and I want to show you what that is. Now first off, like I said, uh, I bought some uh, polyester uh, webbing which I use for my tree straps and that's this right here. I've already wrapped it around the, uh, the tree. And these tree straps come with a loop sewn on each side and all I did was simply run it through one side of the loop. I did buy some carabiners to begin with and I planned on using carabiners to kind of attach it but I figured that I could run it through this loop and save a little bit of weight. Now also on these uh, I use these toggles and I connect the toggles to the uh, webbing uh, using a marlin spike hitch knot. I believe that's correct. Now I want to say first off before I get too far into this, um, I give the suspension system that I'm using credit to 
Suge. Now he didn't obviously come up with all this stuff, I don't guess. Um, but when I bought my hammock, uh, and the first thing I started doing was pulling up Suge's video to look at some of the different suspension systems that he had. And I saw uh, in some of his uh, hammock gear videos, uh, he used this uh, just a webbing with some toggles, and then he used the whoopee slings. And I really liked that because it seemed like it was you know pretty lightweight as you know pretty light as you can get just about and uh it was a simple system to use um so anyway thanks suge for uh doing all your videos and everything um but anyway i want to show you real quick how to uh attach the toggle using the marlin spike hitch knot so on my other side i've got it hanging um but i don't have it i don't have the toggle in yet i've got the toggle right here so hang on just a second let me get the camera set up Okay, so real quick, I just want to show you how to do the Marlin spike hitch to attach the toggle. Um, doing it is real simple. Uh, my webbing is actually kind of uh, all messed up here because I've just left it in there. But to make it, all you do is simply loop the webbing up on itself so that it looks like so. Fold that up, and then you'll have that. And you just want to reach in there and grab the strap that's behind it. And then you'll have this knot here. Now, all you do is take your finger out, put the toggle in, like so. I don't know how well you saw that, and then you pull it tight. And that's it. That's the Marlin Spike Hitch. Um, now, whenever I put my whoopee slings up here, the whoopee slings will actually go on top of this knot rather than around the toggle. That way, the actual webbing is what's holding the weight. Um, if you couldn't really tell what I did that real well, like I say, check out Suge's videos. Uh, he does it in slow motion. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I'll get on to it and I'll show you the whoopee slings. Hang on. Now, like I said, everything fits inside here. Obviously, I've already taken my webbing and everything out, so I'll go ahead and open this. Go ahead and pull the hammock out. And you'll see three different color strings, if I can get to them. It's in here somewhere, I promise. I've got a blue, this blue is a whoopee sling, and I got blue to use for my head. The yellow is the adjustable ridge line. And then on the opposite end, I have a green, and the green is my foot end. That way I can kind of differentiate each time and I don't end up putting my head where my feet have been. Now to use the whoopee slings, it's really simple. I've already got it attached to my hammock. And you can see on this end here, it's got a, uh, a loop on it. Uh, that loop can get as big or as small as you need it to. You can see I'm pulling that down. They've got a bead there so that it doesn't come out. And then to loosen it, you just pull that back. Now, this is, uh, it works on a constriction system. Um, this rope is just double back through itself. So you can adjust it to make it as tall, or like I said, as long, as big of a loop or as small as a loop as you want. And whenever you pull on the other end, that rope constricts on itself and it doesn't let you, um, doesn't let you pull it through it stays tight and like I said you just loop that around it goes on the knot and that's it now I go to the other side and do it uh, on the other side so hang on just a second now like I say I don't know how well you can see this picture but this is actually my whoopee sling at the head end or the foot end and like I said, it's very cool. It's very neat to use. Um, to If I want to make this thing uh, tighter, as far as tighten up the whole tarp, all I do is grab the tail and push the other end up. And that makes that makes the, uh, the hammock pull tighter. I know it's hard to see that. Now I grab this tail and push up and it makes the hammock pull tighter. But then when I pull on the hammock, it doesn't give any. And then if I want to loosen it, I just do the same thing in reverse up here at this section. So they're actually pretty neat. And then like I say, the, uh, the whoopee sling is actually on the knot, not on the toggle. Now one other thing I want to talk about is this adjustable ridge line, which is right here. And it runs the entire length of my hammock. Now the point of this ridge line is actually to make my hammock have the same amount of sag each time I hang it. I'm not, I'm still learning how to use that and if it's gonna work out for me on this hammock. 
it seems like this hammock may be kind of a uh, a shorter hammock and also from a lot of the reviews and from what little experience i have with it so far it seems like this hammock has a better lay if it's more flat rather than has a bunch of sag so uh i'm not sure if i'm gonna like using this ha uh, ridge line with the hammock just because it's uh, it may be easier for me to just hang it and not have that line in the way but it works the exact same way as uh, my whoopee slings uh, it's got a tail on it here and then to make it shorter or longer let's see if i can set this up to make it shorter or longer if i want to make it shorter because i just grab the tail and push it up and what it does is it brings the hammock brings the hammock in more of a sag brings the ends closer together so there's more sag and if i want to loosen it just go up here and pull it out like that and that makes the ends of the hammock go apart like that so anyway uh those are the three new systems that i bought from uh, whoopee slings um i really like them so far uh they seem to do really well uh they brought my weight down um i started out with this hammock the hammock with the suspension that came with it it had two very large uh I think five millimeter ropes in each end with a big heavy S hook. I pulled those S hooks out with the rope and my hammock alone went from 11.7 uh, to, um, oh shoot, it was 2.4 ounces lighter. So, I don't know, somewhere in the nines. I can't think right this minute. But anyway, um, and then after I added in the, uh, the webbing for the tree huggers, the two whoopee uh two whoopee uh, whoopee slings and the adjustable ridge line it brought the entire weight of the hammock with the full suspension up to 14.5 ounces so i'm super happy about that uh if you remember the uh hammock with the uh suspension system that uh you have to buy for this hammock uh total was 19.5 ounces so right there i've managed to save five ounces uh have a easier to use suspension as well as a lighter and a less bulky suspension so uh, can't beat that. Also, I want to hand it to the guys, uh, well, Stu at uh, whoopieslings.com. He did me super right. I uh, placed an order one night, real late actually at night. Um, and when I placed the order, I also had a single uh, single line uh, tarp line, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, but that line actually came with options of having soft shackle prussic knots on it. And I didn't opt for that at first because I didn't really understand what they were. Uh, but then the next morning when I realized what exactly they were, I figured uh, that I would have been happier with those than the two s beaners that I bought wanting to connect the tarp to the line. So I got, I, send, uh, I sent Stu an email, explained to him what the deal was that I, you know, my lack of understanding and asked him if there was any way I could change it and I would PayPal him the uh, extra money, it was just a couple of dollars uh, for the swap out. And he sent me one back, you know, within just a few hours saying, no problem, man, we'll switch it out, no problem at all, and don't worry about it uh, as far as, you know, PayPal and those extra few dollars. So uh, then, you know, I think about two days later, everything was in my mailbox. So I got nothing but love for uh, Stu at WhoopieSlings.com, and if I ever need any other kind of cordage or, um, or just any kind of suspension systems or anything for hammocks or tarps, um, that's definitely going to be the first place I go to. So... Uh, if anybody out there has got any questions or wondering about it, I highly suggest you check out uh, whoopieslings.com. Uh, they'll surely make you happy and they'll give you a quality product. So anyway, uh, now I need to go on and I want to show you about um, the bug sock. So hang on just a second. No wait, no love,